friends, I'm Edita Sitar from Laundry Basket Quilts and we are working on our Summer Mystery 2022. Are you having fun reusing all those strips and scraps and all the leftovers? Block 1 was so super simple, block 2, now it's time for block number 3. I am so excited for you. Yes, we're going to have to work a little bit. We're only making the 4 block 3, so don't worry, there is a little bit of work but it's super fun fun and easy and I think with every block now you're growing as a quilter and you're learning some fun things or maybe you're refreshing things that you knew it already for a long time. If you have any questions or any suggestion please leave us a comment on, in the bottom of the video. Don't forget to give us thumbs up that you have enjoyed this video and also if you need anything email us at support at laundrybasketquilts.com. We love to hear from you. Now if you just starting with us you can find all the directions for what we're doing on our blog at laundrybasketquilts.com so you go to the blog you look at for summer mystery 2022 and we have lined up everything for you from cutting what fabric and everything that we're doing i'm working during this video with fabrics that are very simple and fun and i selected the linen texture but there are other color options that now you get to see on our blog one by one little bit by little bit and you can enjoy those you can use all different bundles for this quilt the recipe for this mystery quilt is also on our blog with the housekeeping blog so go there visit i hope you have cut your strips for today if not go please do that we're gonna need a beautiful one and a half inch strips for the 16 options and of course we have the recipe for the 19 options for everybody that is doing the larger quilt i'm working on the smaller quilt but i'm also going to be working from my scraps on the larger quilt i'm super excited for this project so now for this uh, block number three i chose one dark fabric one medium fabric nice accent and i chose a light and a background remember the two yards of background that i asked you to have i'm using that fabric in this block too so this is super exciting and i have cut my strips i cut two blues two one dark blue uh, two of the top and a one background and I lay them out follow up the website the layout and all that I'm going to do is I'm going to sew a panel do you see the routine that we're doing now we're sewing a panel and then we're making something from that panel I think today's block is going to steal your heart and you're going to want to make more than just four all that I'm going to do is take my strips place them right sides together Ooh right sides together just like this don't pull too hard on your strips make sure that you pin and you're gonna start pinning on this side right here pin then pin it right here oh this looks wonderful wonderful i'm so excited for you guys so this is so exciting right there just pin it keep going you can do it as soon as you finish pinning and don't be worried about that you have too many pins the never too many there's sometimes not enough and then things don't lined up really nice for you you're gonna go ahead use beautiful orofil thread macrotex needle and you're gonna stitch and you will remember that you're gonna change the length of your stitch make it a little smaller so for example if your stitch length is set on two go down to one and a half half notch down i call it if it's uh, one and a half go down to one you really need the stitches to be a little closer why but not too close okay not too close because we're going to be taking some uh, uh, stitches apart so make sure they're close but not too close so that way we can take some things apart but you don't want your panel to fall apart as you piecing so um make sure you stitch as soon as you sew sets of two so i'm gonna sew it this way i'm gonna go ahead and sew my strips all together let me just put this so i can show you how this is going to look all together so i would be sewing this way then i'm gonna take this edge and this edge and sew it to each other 
Oh, I know you are excited about it. This is your first time doing it. You're going to have a panel like this this time. And did you notice I did not ask you to press? Don't press. Let the seams just lay. And notice how my seams just fall like this. And the next step that I'm going to do, I'm going to take my panel. Do you see? This is my panel. It's like a little tube of six strips. I'm gonna place my panel on my cutting board and I'm going to start by trimming. Let me see where my ruler went, right there. I'm gonna start by trimming the edge. How do I keep my panel and this seam? I don't wanna be cutting like this because it gets crooked. I'm paying attention that this seam this edge matches this line and I'm paying attention that all my other ones nicely match. The outside one is the really good one to pay attention to it. All that I'm going to do is trim it. It was nice and clean so there wasn't too much but it's still I like to trim. If I can I always go ahead and trim it. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put my ruler right over and I'm gonna measure one and a half for the smaller six inch block follow directions on our website for your strips for the nine inch block but for this one i need a one and a half so right there and you're gonna ask why am i not telling you the measurements because i do not want to confuse you there's two size options so i'm doing generic videos so that way you can apply the steps towards the larger option too so this is super simple now i'm gonna whatever width my strip was this is what i'm gonna cut it here and i'm gonna cut six of those because i need six for one block and you keep cutting like this the next step so i would have cut six of them i only cut few because we wanted to keep moving and the next thing that i'm going to do is I'm gonna start, follow the picture on my blog. I'm gonna find the seam between the dark and the blue and I'm gonna open that seam, open that seam and notice it. I pulled it gently from this side. Now I'm gonna go ahead, pull it gently from the other side. Now I can go ahead and take that thread out. Don't pull it too hard and take this thread and now I have my first low unit. Notice how it's not press. That's okay. I want you to wait. Don't do anything yet because I want you to go ahead and keep opening your um, beautiful strip sets, opening the beautiful strip sets. So for example, if I open my first one was right here between the blue, then I'm going to go ahead and move my one seam further for my second one and open it up open and up and that would have been my second one. I already have done those for you guys so I'm just gonna go ahead and line them up because guess what now once you open your seams in the right places pay attention to that that they're open in the right places now you can go ahead and press and this is the important part you're gonna go ahead and press half of your blocks press the seam allowance one direction and half of the blocks the other direction. So if I start going with my seam allowance go down, I'm gonna go with my seam allowance push down on one, three, and five. So on those, did you see what I just did for myself? And this is a perfect time to go ahead and use your cute little uh, fabric marks okay and you can go ahead and i'm gonna take my a and i'm gonna say to myself a i'm gonna push all my seams this down so i'm gonna push my fabric mark this way and it reminds me to go this way and i'm gonna take the other ones and go ahead and put my little marker this way so i know all the seams have to go the opposite way all right as soon as you Finish pressing, so look at all my seams are pressed. As soon as you finish pressing, you can go ahead, take those apart. I have my first one pressed, I'm gonna switch it and I'm gonna start lining my block again and I'm gonna alternate my pieces and my seam allowances are beautifully pressed for me. So what I need is my next one. 
I got a little bit mixed up here, so I'm going to have to find my spot, but that's okay. Guess what? You're going to be doing the same thing. When you go to your ironing board, the piece is going to all shift it up. That's okay. That's okay, because if you have marked and you have pressed them the right way, then everything is going to be wonderful, and you can press one by one if it takes, if it's better for you. I uh, cluster them into those little groups, pin them together, go press it, uh, grab a little apple, drink of water, and I'm ready, set, go for my next step. What it is now, I'm going to take two of them, I'm going to place them right sides together, and now I'm going to go ahead, look at how nice the seams are going in the opposite direction, and I'm going to pin it and pin it next seam. You want to lock those seams. This time it matters. We want to match and lock the seams because we want to do something fun and exciting and we're gonna uh, we want to have uh, this uh, movement of color through the middle of our block and I will pin it on every single seam every seam so that way we have a, a wonderful block and I'm gonna sew sets of two so this was this this would be my second set this is my third set and as soon as I finish my sets of two I'm gonna open them up and sew them together into set a full block just like I have done it right here look at this how sweet it looks all my seams are matching really nice all of the seams will push in the opposite direction so that way everything locks and this is our block number three and as soon as you finish one you need to finish three more because we need a total of uh, four blocks number three i'm so excited for you this is beautiful and do not forget it now when you finish your block grab your little ruler place it right over check that it's six and a half by six and a half if it's not now it's again time to review your quarter inch seam allowance if it is perfect if it's a little bit bigger you can trim it none of the pieces are going to impact the other blocks so it does not matter we're not going to be matching with the other blocks i don't want to give you too much clues away but when we start putting our quilt together you're gonna be like this girl she knows what she's doing she has set us up on a fun little project so don't worry if something went off and you have to trim your block those seams are not going to have to be connected with other pieces so you're good to go i'm super excited for you can't wait to see your progress so make sure you tag me and you put a hashtag on your uh, pictures on instagram hashtag some mystery 2022 i always love seeing your quilts they're just beautiful and i just want to let you know that with this quilt, we're gonna do a contest on our Instagram. So do not forget, uh, forget to post pictures. I'm gonna be talk, uh, telling you more about it later on in our live show and remind you to please tag me on so that way you can be entered to our little contest for this mystery quilt because we wanna see your progress. We wanna see your colors. I'm super excited for you. Happy quilting and I can't wait to see you next week for a clue number four and I tell you you're gonna be so happy and so excited to join us in because block number four it's going to be very versatile and fun block that you maybe want to use in other projects not just in our mystery so happy quilting and stay tuned for more laundry basket quilts mm -hmm.